Hello, my beautiful audience, and welcome back to the Curious Expedition. Oh boy, what just happened? Okay. Okay, there we go. And, uh, for some reason, uh, when I got on, it, for some reason, didn't save. So I guess we're gonna have to start a new one. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Oh yeah, I unlocked this person, which was Mary Kingsley. Uh, I like Richard Francis Burton. But Marie Curie has first aid kit, which is really good. Yep, this guy has more fighting people. Oh, well, I guess I chose him. Where it is that you have a good chance of seeing a likeness in the statue? I'm pretty sure last episode I read all this, so. Let's do a tourist trip for now. I still don't know who I am. <laughs> okay, so that's Marie Curie, I think. So I think I am Richard Francis Burton. Dead End Jungle. A well-balanced region consisting mostly of wide grasslands. A golden pyramid can be found in this region. A golden pyramid can be found in this region. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I am Richard Francis Burton. Yeah. Eagerly anticipating the forthcoming adventure, I made haste to arrive at the docks. We had a little time before the ship would be ready, so I saw if there was anything I could do. Sister Romilda, what kind of name is that? Approached me while we waited. She had plans to visit abroad and begged us to guide her to a nearby native village once we had once we had arrived at her destination in order to spread the word of God. And sure, why not? I accepted since I would gladly do my part to help spread the word of God. At long last, the ship was re prepared to leave the harbor. Such sail. Hopefully it saves this time, because I want to do a full expedition before I end never do this game again. I actually, I think I'll do a full expedition and I'll do the game on a higher difficulty. Or maybe with a different character, once I unlock different characters. Oop. Alright, we got a little bit of turbulence here. Okay, let me just let me just load in. I dare not recount the trials and tribulations of the voyage, but thankfully, a shoreline rose in the morning mist. I knew this place held something special for us. I think the ship storage has, like, barely anything. It doesn't have anything whatsoever, so I guess I'll refill water, and if we find anything else, anything more useful than it, then we'll just get rid of the water. Then let us begin expedition. Sister Romilda had indicated the location of the village she wished to reach on our map. Is it that one? Where is it? Where's the village you wanted to reach? Oh, over there. Ow. Alright, let's head over here first, I guess. Uh, no, I want to head no. Okay, let's just travel over to here. I was trying to figure out what it was doing, but... I'm trying to beat these guys to the golden pyramid. And I think I'm heading towards the pyramid a little bit, but now it's heading down. And it's another village, and yeah, so this is not the village you wanted to go to, I'm sure. Well, I don't know, what, what is that? A rock formation. Okay. Enter village. This evening we reached the village. The villagers looked like a group of... I'm about to sneeze. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> oh. As we... are the village looked like a group of skilled scouts. As we arrived, the village was buzzing with activity. No one really paid attention to us. We were able to walk amidst the numbers freely, as though there was nothing unusual about our arrival. A peculiar stone idol stood proudly in the heart of the village. I don't see it, though. The natives observed us with curiosity. They were kind and offered us to help our cause. I knew the language of these people and soon was able to communicate. Um... See what they got to offer. They got demons. Uh, yeah, we'll take those. We can sell those for a 
bunch of funds. You don't get that much fame, but you get tons and tons of fun. And maybe some mangoes. Then also some berries. Okay, there we go. Deal. We came to an agreement with the villagers. Uh, can we recruit? I changed my mind. Okay. Alright, let's rest in the village. We unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire. An overweight young man asked me a question. He was inclined to know whether it was true that European men have multiple wives. Well... Some of them do. Well, actually, I don't know. Don't, don't take my word for it. I have no idea. Uh, I'm just gonna get and say men have one wife. Because I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> just take what I said as a lie. I'm sorry. I lied. I don't know. Actually, no. So, I told him that our religion frowned on polyg polygamy. He noticed, he nodded, but it was unclear if, it's, if this answer satisfied him. Sleep or steal idol? I don't want to steal an idol. That would be mean. I'll just sleep. I'll find an idol at a shrine or something. The night was quiet and peaceful. The next morning I awoke to a face to face a crowd of natives. It seems that my expressive yawning concerned them. Any prior tension was beginning to abate. They remained courteous and offered us more help. The elderly woman placed some fruits by the idol. Can I recruit? No. Alright, let's go. Alright, I just want to head towards this village. So let us go. If for some reason as you travel they eat the mangoes, which is really stupid, because I wanted to save those for refilling sanity. What in the world? This is an alcoholic nun. It looks like a nun. It's a missionary, but it looks like a nun. Alcoholic missionary? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Wait, what is that? Claustrophobic fears being enclosed to small spaces. You'll be fine. Private Obadiah Richard. Alright, let's keep going. New region discovered. Dun 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 dun. Darn it, a hill. Oh, that's gonna cost some sanity. Right there. Let's eat some mangoes. And let's travel over the hills. I'm pretty sure you can't travel mountains unless you have, like, climbing gear or something, but I'm not sure. And there's a thing right next to the village, which I'm sure might be a shrine. Wait, no, it's a shipwreck. Ooh, there might be some, uh, I was about to say booty, but I guess I could say loot or something. <laughs> booty. <laughs> Who came up with that? Just calling it booty? <laughs> we carefully approached- <laughs> Oh, sorry. Mm. We carefully approached and the mysterious native village. You know how to English well. The village were here, the people here seemed like the best scouts known to this region. I could smell that they had just prepared food. The villagers kindly beck us, beckoned us over and offered some of the freshly cooked food. Yay! A meat is actually very nice, very, very good for restoring sanity, so I will take all. The natives observed this with caution. They were polite and offered us what they could. Uh, first, uh, let's give you the missionary. We accompanied the missionary to the village. Chief, chief who was a compulsive talker, t talker, sorry, for some reason I like to put the L's in there for some weird reason, who told us about the preeminent landmarks to see in the region, including a holy shrine which he marked on our map. We felt more than welcome. The villagers were seemingly excited about our presence. Uh, let's see what they have to trade. Uh, I can get more diamonds. And there are drums. Oh, there are golden earrings. 
How much can I get? I get 50 fame and 40 funds. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, water doesn't work. Uh, can we trade in our berries? Wait a second. Yes! I did it! Okay, deal. Nice. Oh, darn it, I'm overburdened. I'll get rid of the water. Uh, can we recruit? Oh, yes, we can. New Jezira. A water buffalo. I changed my mind. I like that. I like this guy better. I like... Oh, well, he's an animal handler, but I guess it's fine. We'll just have the scout. Ooh. Boos? I don't know how to pronounce that name. <laughs> had the scout had joined our trek. We felt comfortable in the midst of overjoy of the overjoyed villagers. Okay, now we can rest in the village to regain some sanity. Then we'll be on our merry way towards the golden pyramid. We unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire. In a quiet moment, one of the villager village elders gave us a serious look and asked who had created, who had created mankind. God, evolution, or don't know. Well, I'm a Christian, so I'm gonna say God. So, he told them that we believed God created humans. He nodded quietly as he listened to our explanation. Okay. That's 50 sanity. Nice. I slept in great comfort and safety. The following morning, I woke to a face face a crowd of natives. It seems my expressive yawning concerned them. We felt more than welcome, and the villagers were seemingly excited about our presence. Okay. Alright, let's leave. I told the men to pack up and, and uh, pack up and head it out as new adventures awaited us. Let's head over here to the to the shipwreck. I want to travel there. Let's see what's there. What is that? Local. We'll hesitate to follow you home after this expedition. That's fine. You can stay here. We can just get another person. A shipwreck. How did a shipwreck get so far from the coast? It's kind of weird. Maybe there was like a flood. Today we made a peculiar discovery. The remains of a decayed boat loomed in front of us. It looked like an old pirate ship. It must have been here for more than one hundred years. I tried to identify the name, but it was too old to read. Let's search. I was certain there were riches to be found here, and we spread out and searched the area. Diamonds! Uh, let's get rid of these berries. And take these. Dynamite. Oh, wow. You can go through mountains. Um, we'll get rid of this for the chocolate. Sanity. And I think we'll leave the dynamite there. We can just go around mountains. It'll just cost a few more sanity. Actually, no. Let's get rid of the water and take the dynamite. Because <laughs> water is pretty much useless unless you're in a desert. No! I don't want to take all... Oh, darn it. As we departed, we, we became aware that our presence was attracted by inquisitive wildlife. Crap, a jaguar, I think. That's what it's called. A, a panther, no. Let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that. And, oh, yeah, I can use those to regain sanity. There we go. Um, let's just try and run over to where, to what, to over, let's try running over here. That sounds safe. Hopefully we don't, okay, good. We made it out without aggroing the thing. <gasps> it's the Golden Pyramid. Well, that was easy. I found it way before anybody else. I guess it is like the tourist trip, and it's my first expedition, so let us go. The exotic landscape complemented the extraordinary golden pyramid. Hooray! <laughs> Enter the pyramid. After a weeks of traveling, tremendous relief overcame me. I knew that my name, Richard Francis Burton would be forever remembered. I congratulated Buse, but instead of excitement, he saw regret. He would never leave his, these sacred grounds. Convinced to stay with 
trick. I don't have any fitting dice. I'm gonna let let him go. He can go. There was no way to convince him otherwise. Views decided to stay in his home country. To the Explorers Club. Success, current fame, four. Nope, ten. Golden Pyramid, one hundred. Speed bonus, first, two hundred. New fame, three hundred and ten. Finish the expedition. So brave, oh thank you. Choose a perk, extraordinary. Black market, access more gear when equipping your trek before heading out to the unknown. Thank you, so brave. Good reputation, start each reputation with a standing bonus. Waterproof, reduce movement costs in shallow ri ri rivers. Okay, I'll do the black market. And now I am still in second place, but I guess I can give some stuff. I already have 60 funds. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give the gift of golden earrings. Yes, now I am the famous this is. And then I'm going to sell these. So now I have some fun so I can buy some things for the next expedition so I can get even more fame. Because you gotta be smart. But I think that is going to be the end of the Curious Expedition Episode 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, give it a like because you liked it, and I would like that if you give it a like because you liked it, and do not forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.